Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We've got your daily reading here for Monday, uh, September 9th of 2024. I hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you all had a really good weekend. Let's pull some cards and let's see what we've got coming out for you guys today. We've got the Princess of Winter, the Ten of Spring, and we have the Ten of Summer. So in this particular deck, winter is swords, spring is wands, and summer is cups. So it almost seems like here in this energy that there's something that you've been working towards, something that you've been really pushing through to try and get done. And that's the 10 of spring energy right in the middle there. And we've got this lovely little St. Bernard dog uh, coming to your rescue. Um, so quite often when we do get the 10 of spring energy, it does represent some stress or some burdens or some really big responsibilities that we've taken on. But the important thing is, is that we don't give up. Right. So this represents that you're right at the finish line. So you're wrapping something up um, or you're maybe making some decisions to do something a little bit differently. And this can sometimes represent the need to reexamine boundaries in our life. Are you a people pleaser? Do you say yes to things even when you really know that you shouldn't? Right. Do you, you know, say yes to helping people with something at work or helping a neighbor with something or helping a family member with something when your plate is already full and you've already got more than you can already handle. But sometimes when we do get in that people, people pleasing mode, whether it is uh, temporary or whether it's something that's a lifelong struggle to break free of, this is where we feel overburdened and stressed. Right. So with the princess of winter showing up here, this is the peace of swords, right? So what new things can you do to change your story, to change your tune, right? This is about seeing things from higher perspective. This is about having a look at your future, a better tomorrow. How do I make my tomorrow better? What can I do today to make some changes? So when we've got the page of swords energy, this can certainly represent a fresh new perspective, a new way of thinking. This can also represent an important conversation that needs to be had so you can find your freedom. We've got that seagull on there um, spreading its wings, right? Soaring above the challenges and trials and tribulations, right? That uh, we're often faced on that day to day basis. So this could require a new fresh approach at something, right? Because the pages do bring news, but they also do bring um, the new, right? So new uh, communication energy is coming in there and whether that's internal or external. Now, it can also be that perhaps there is some sort of information or some sort of news that comes your way today, okay? And this could bring some uh, a heavy workload, right? With that 10 of spring, this could represent that there's something that may go on that's a little bit stressful. However, when we've got the 10 of summer, the 10 of cups coming out here as well, this shows that whatever situations you are faced with, you have the ability to wrap things up, to get things done, and in a way that is very satisfactory to you there with that 10 of summer. There could be some family stress going on here. There could be something at work, but ultimately whatever, uh, you know, whatever curveball that you may encounter today, this is um, a successful and pleasant outcome for you. But in this, in the season of change, which is what we're in, right, we've got a lot of change energy that's coming in here. We've got a lot of cleansing and purging and healing, and we've got um, a lot of, uh, getting out the old ways and welcoming in some new and better ways, right? So in this energy, this could be you making positive change, right? That brings you more health, happiness, well-being, um, not just internally, but also externally with your relationships with your family. Both of these are endings. How do you want something to end? What belief do you want to turn over? We are feeling eclipse energy already, right? We uh, have a, a full moon, super full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces coming up on the 17th. The readings are already posted for you guys, by the way. But in this energy, we do feel eclipse energies quite, uh, quite far ahead of time. And it's all about seeing things clearly, right? Seeing things clearly, bringing something to an end so something better can come in, right? 
So keep that an open mind. Look at things from a different perspective. See where you do need to either put down or reestablish or affirm some boundaries in your life. Where do you need to say no and where do you need to say yes? A healthy balance is the key to a healthy, happy existence, whether it's internally with your emotions, with your spirit energy, whether it's with other people, right? And it's not always easy to do and sometimes we do falter. So if you are in a reflective energy, we've got retrogrades going on as well, right? We've got uh, Uranus retrograde, Pluto retrograde, right? The two outer, the two furthest outlying planets that we've got there, right? So they don't make moves very quickly um, or very often. So the this is a significant time of reflection and change for you. So the outcome that you may have going on, whether it's something in your day to day or something that has a bigger storyline here, right? The choice is yours. And where are you going to, what are you going to put an end to and what are you going to say yes to, right? And when we know what we want, when we're clear on how we want to approach something, this brings us success. With that, I'm going to leave that there, guys. I hope there was something here for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday and that it starts off on the right foot. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Do check out your Eclipse readings if you haven't already. Um, they are there for you. And again, transformative time of change, surprises, things that we don't see, hidden things, right? There's a huge emotional energy that's uh, coming in here with this one. Pisces, right? It's your feelings. Um, and, uh, it's, uh, it's got, uh, it's a Pisces Virgo axis. There's a big healing element, um, to these eclipses that'll unfold in Pisces and Virgo in the next couple of years. So, um, really is turning over a big new page, a big chapter. So hope you guys have a great day. I thank you for watching like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed your reading and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.